Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. At the range now we've got the Marlin 1894 357 Magnum lever action rifle. I featured this at SHOT Show. I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. And here it is. Now these were created in the year 1894 and they did so in pistol caliber rounds. They developed the rifle for 357 in the late 70s. But this is a dark series. Can you imagine why? They're calling it the Dark Series. A little more tactical look to it. But let's go ahead and shoot it. I've got one in the chamber now. The magazine tube holds nine rounds, 10 rounds total. Let's see how it does. Rabbit. There we go. And that's it. What a beautiful rifle. The optic that I have on here is a Vortex Spitfire. It's a prism optic, a one power prism optic that is really nice. I sighted this in at an indoor range and I literally did that within five rounds. It was that close right out of the package. A little bit more about this rifle. The stock is actually wood with a texturing over that that it has a nice feel about a half inch wide butt pad the loop there is a wide loop all right you can see that a wide loop and it comes with a paracord wrap around it makes it comfortable on the hand when working the action an excess ghost ring rear sight with a all steel rail which is also excess and a ramped up front sight very nice and an extended hammer spur right there cross bolt safety and all in all a good look also comes with this paracord sling which is a nice touch now it comes in other calibers I chose the 357 Magnum because I wanted that 10 round capacity and that's what I got out of this in regard to the optic it uses a triple-a battery and it has two circles with a dot in the middle and my goodness is this thing nice I am so happy I went with the Vortex Spitfire and I think that this is going to be my go-to optic with rifles from now on because the illuminated uh, reticle it is an etched reticle which is nice in case your battery runs out you've got the etching in there to keep you on target and it's just a nice package it's actually light they slimmed it down a little bit for a prism optic it's uh it's pretty phenomenal I'm gonna load it up and we're gonna back up. I've got the Marlin Dark Series 357 Magnum. I can see that it looks like I'm shooting over my range bag. I'm actually not. It's off to the left. But let's see how it does. Seven inch target. Let's try the rabbit. There we go. Rabbit again. Nice, in the middle, seven inch. And that's it. Wow. This is as exciting as I thought it would be. I am really getting into lever action rifles. It was an area that I have not explored as much until lately, and I am really enjoying it. Low maintenance easy to operate and a lot of fun plus it's got a rich history behind it that you know if you're into that which i am a little bit i like to learn but nonetheless this rifle is a lot of fun and it's, i think it's beautiful too check that out very So there it is, 
Marlin 1894 chambered in 357 Magnum. It's a side loader that I noticed initially the spring was really tight. The, the tube spring was very tight to get those rounds in, but as I continually load it and shoot it and do everything with it, it's gotten easier to get in, so it makes it nicer loading. Not that it was a problem, but it was just tight at first. That's not too unusual. Everything about this has been a lot of fun. It, it's worked exactly as it is intended, and I really enjoy this Marlin 1894, and I expect to do more with it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.